Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard Neal. This is me in my car because I have, believe it or not, lost the uh, SD card to my camera. So I'm filming this on my phone. And I have just watched, as in earlier today, the new Netflix movie, Death Note, adapted from the anime. And so this is how it is. You get a mysterious black book called the Death Note, and with it comes uh, an eight-foot-tall demon played by William Defoe, who is pretty much a six-foot-tall demon in real life, who kind of reminds me of Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. And if you write someone's name in that Death Note, they die. All right. You know, you kind of have three major players in this. That is the demon, I'm going to butcher this, I believe he's called Ryok, or Ryoku, or something that, like, something of that nature. You have Light, who is the genius high schooler who now has inherited the Death Note, which is as old as time itself. And then you have L, who is a genius investigator trying to discover who it is that is killing all these people not knowing the existence of the Death Note. And I'm going to tell you this flat out. I've never seen the anime, so I don't know how it compares to the anime. I'm wondering if all the apples that the demon is eating... I mean, Cinema Sins is so, totally going to have a field day with all them apples. But I wonder if that's in the anime. I do believe it is. I, I try to look up some pictures. But yeah, you know, we're going over a bumpy road here. Any case, is this a really good movie? No, it's not a really good movie. It's an okay movie. It's a kind of a made-for-TV movie with really good special effects. The character of Light, he is a little too smart. He doesn't do enough stumbling. You know, he should have really read through a lot more rules. There are rules in this Book of the Dead thing going on. And he should have read through a lot more of them, being a smart guy, before he started writing names down, or after he wrote names down and realized there were rules. He should have taken the time, because he's an intelligent individual, and I could tell you something about intelligence. Intelligence does not jump on something. It takes a step back and says, okay, what's going on? This is a common theme throughout movies, is you have someone who's incredibly intelligent, who is just overly anxious to get something done, and then what do you have? You have a half-human, half-fly hybrid that vomits on its food. So, yes, this guy, Light, did not take that step back, and he seems a little too intelligent, a little too capable of just understanding things without uh, learning about them. And in the Japanese culture, my understanding is they value learning. They value hard work in order to achieve a goal of a higher understanding. So that's a little odd for me. Then you have L, the investigator, who knows too much. Again, he doesn't appear to come to things through logical explanations. He appears to have some great intuition, which originally, well, I, I don't want to tell you what I originally thought of him, because I thought, well, he's probably a this. But I can't say that because it will ruin part of the story, I think. But that's that's the kind of thing with Death Note. It is, it is lukewarm in terms of goodness. It is, it is the, you know, generic soda of movies. It's not bad per se, but it's not as good as a premium soda. I mean, if I had to had to define this as a soda, I guess it would it would kind of be like you know off-brand cola or something. It's not it's not a good movie. It's not a bad movie. It's entertaining if you like dark things. Uh, William Defoe does an excellent job in it. Again, giving it's Netflix, I wouldn't mind seeing the sequel. But look, here in America, we have had terrible track record with converting anime to to live action film. You look at the last Airbender and Ghost in the Shell as two examples. Now, I didn't see Ghost in the Shell. I heard it was pretty bad. Uh, so I can't really comment, but yeah, 
in terms of movies that started as animes and have become movies, look, I gotta tell you, this ain't that bad. But in terms of good movies, if this were a movie that appears in theaters, I would say you don't need to see it right away. You can wait a little bit. You can watch this movie as it comes out on Netflix. But you know, it's on Netflix. It's probably going to be a worthwhile movie. People are going to be dressing up like this for Halloween. So yeah, I mean, if you're a horror movie fan, you like these kind of movies, definitely check this out. If you're not a horror movie fan and you don't like these kind of movies, well, don't bother because this movie is simply not for you. So anyway, that's my opinion. I'm Richard McNeil. Uh, why don't you tell me down in the comments below, have you seen Netflix's live-action Death Note, and what did you think of it? Anyway, uh, pay attention to the road, kids, and whatever you do, don't drink and drive. I'm Richard.